Good morning everybody and welcome back to another fossil hunting video. I'm sure you can tell which beach I've come to today, Saltwick Bay. It's an early morning start. It's currently 7am on a Saturday at the start of Whitby Goth weekend. So I imagine it'll get really busy as the day goes later, especially in Whitby Town Centre itself. But luckily, this is the view for this morning what looks like an empty Saltwick Bay beach but you never quite know if anyone's been round but I'm going to do my best to have a good scan around and hopefully find a few things you never I'm know. I'm quite looking forward to having a good rummage around I've not been fossil hunting at Saltwick Bay for about a month or two I've been doing the other beaches although I have been to Saltwick Bay I was here two days ago but that was a dog walk when the tide was in just a nice little run around for them on this sandy area here. So low tide's at nine-ish. So I've got a good few hours to have a look around. I'm going to go right today. I'll go as far as I can, probably near the lighthouse, and then make my way back. So I've just come across this cracking looking nodule, but will there be anything inside it? Let's hit it open and find out. All right, well, I've just dinked it open with this little hammer here and it has cracked open. I haven't looked at it yet to see if there is even anything in it. But well, let's take a look. Ah. A disappointment, that's all there was in there. Here we go, another little Dactyloceros monster shingle. Nice warm one on this occasion. Nice little duck to prepare, waiting to be picked up and claimed. You can see the keel sticking out of the rock. Look at them big spikes, a little section of one. Well, it just shows you some of them have really beautiful nodes. This is a Peronoceros example. Where's the rest of it? So I'm round near the lighthouse now and I've just found this which some of you might find interesting. It's a slab full of very crushed Dactyloceros ammonites and of course a Bellamite there. That one doesn't look too bad but I imagine the preservation will all be really quite squished. It's a heavy old nodule too. So I've just spotted an ammonite wearing out in the shingle here. And there we go. Definitely one in there. Might even be a pero. If you have enjoyed this fossil hunting video, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. Thank you. There we go, two warm ones in the same little area. There's one in this one as well. So we're coming into a few ammonites at the moment. So this one here looks like it'll be a really easy one to prep. The sea has already done quite a lot of work on the ammonite fossil itself. You can see the edges already starting to be revealed. So I'll just have to pretty much flick all of this rock off and grind it down and it'll be really nice that. Fortunately, this one's way too damaged. So I may have just found something that looks really good. It's got potential. I've not picked it up yet, but I can see ichthyosaur bone. Let's have a look. Right, so we're a bit close to the overhang, but it's just staring at me. So I'm gonna have to run and grab it. And I can see a worn impression of a vertebra down there, a very small one. So what I'm gonna do is run in and grab it. Oh. Right, so now the question is, do these vertebrae run along the rock or is it just a isolated bone? Let's take a look. Yes, it is. 
So we're, we've got a nice string of ichthyosaur vertebrae there. That is the find of the day. I'd predict three or four vertebrae inside that. Looks like there's room for them. And it's also got the ribs and the neural. I think these are the ribs and these are the neural arches. Very cool. Right guys, I've just spotted what looks like a really nice Dactyloceros ammonite along the pebbles on the beach. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm gonna flip you around. It looks like a really good example. Perfect. Hopefully there's not a little nick in it. Very nice. Absolute belter that one. I imagine that this one will be knackered. But let's take a look at it. Doesn't look too complete to me. Yeah, that one can stay on the beach. Remember everyone, if you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's a bunch of beautiful prepared fossils available for purchase. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. can see what appears to be an ammonite under this rock. Might not be all there, but if there's a good middle in there, it'd be worth taking back. Looks like someone's hit it a while ago. Well, look at that. Potentially a huge bellamite in the shale, but will it be complete? Yep. Well, that's a cute little beach prepped ammonite. There we go. So that looks quite interesting. It looks like a bit of possibly marine reptile jaw. Fortunately, it's really worn. There is on the back what looks like a possible eroded tooth. Not much left of it though, if that's what it is. Worth taking back to have a play with. You never know what's inside these warm bone pebbles. Right then, so I'm just walking back. I'm gonna be making my way around that way. And I've spotted something. It looks like a really nice ammonite. There's a good keel sticking out, but it's just whether it's someone's discarded one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out now. Well, that looks very promising. It doesn't feel as though it's been hit or anything. Oh yes. And that is a beauty. Might be the nicest duck I've found today. So that was a bit of a disaster. I was doing a bit of drone flying and I put my hand out and it's meant to land on your hand like that, but for whatever reason, it backed away and it went backwards into a little rock pool and I'm hoping it'll still work but who knows I've been trying to power it on and it's saying power error or something so I'll try it back at home when it's dried off but it might be going back to DJI the supplier luckily I've got cover for it right so I've walked back up and here's what you don't do when fossil hunting I don't know if you can see there's people who have climbed up that big slip that is a death trap up there they've climbed on top of the sandstone and they're picking bits from the top one bit of rock from that huge overhang above them and they'll be dead so i'm now making my way off the beach hopefully you have all enjoyed this video we've had some really good finds in this episode lots of dax and them ichthyosaur vertebrae i'll see you all on the next one <laughs>